Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, I want to show you how to count the number of unique values. I'm going to show you two ways. One will work for any version of Excel and the other will work for Excel 365. The second version is much easier, but you do need the latest version of Excel. Okay, let's see how this can be done. Let's start off with the solution that works in any version of Excel. Start by using the COUNTIF function. It has two arguments, range and criteria. Range is where you're counting. Criteria is what you're counting. Now our range is our list of branches. And normally the criteria would be one branch. So if I said Aberdeen, for example, it would count that Aberdeen appears three times. But what we're going to do is specify this entire range as our criteria. Now, in Excel 365, it will spill its results into surrounding cells. If you don't have Excel 365, what you can do is select your formula and press the F9 key. You can see what it's doing. It's picked up Aberdeen first, and it says that appears three times, and then Nottingham appears two times. Aberdeen's the third value, and that again appears three times. Brighton is the fourth value and that appears four times. So it's giving a result for each of the values in this range. I'll just undo the F9 effect back to my original formula. Now what I want to do is divide those results by one. And then if I press F9, you can see what it does is if something appears three times, you get the result 0.33. If it appears two times, you get the result 0.5. So if I added the 0.33s together, I would get one. If I added the 0.5s together, I'd get one. If I added the 0.25s together, where there are four results, I would get one. So in other words, the sum of all these results will be the number of unique values in this list. So how do I add them together? Well, I could use the sum function, but that would require me to enter an array formula with Control Shift Enter. So a better option is to use some product, which doesn't require you to use control shift enter. It is able to perform a calculation on an array of values. And there we are. There are three unique values in my list, Aberdeen, Nottingham, and Brighton. Let's look at the second method. And this is available for Excel 365 users. It's a lot easier to use and understand. You start with the unique function and select your range and that spills an array of the unique values it finds in that list. And then we want to count those values, so we can use count A to do so, and it returns the same answer, three. Okay, so two ways of counting unique or distinct values in a range. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe, and I'll see you next video.